Play is an activity which provokes a playful state of mind. Learning through play is the process of acquiring knowledge, skills and attitudes in a playful state of mind. Brent Hutchison is an educationalist, former teacher and director of the non-profit organization Care for Education, who partners with the Lego Foundation in Denmark. Through his six building blocks approach, he provides an understanding of the power of and right to play for human and social development. We live in a society where children are bombarded with um, pieces of information presented to children in a two-dimensional format, so through print media, through TV, and children are interacting with those and they're not interacting with concrete manipulatives. We need teachers to understand and remember how important concrete objects are when a child is developing all their perceptual skills. So we need parents and teachers to be aware of this so that they provide kids with more concrete tools and more opportunities to play and touch and manipulate these tools around them, around their bodies, uh, in order to develop these perceptual skills. Uh, children also need to be given opportunities to build an understanding of their world, their world around them, and um, they need a tool to be able to solve the problems that they face on a daily basis. And the best tool is a concrete tool. So if children are able to build an understanding uh, of a solution in front of them, they can then learn to verbalize or write about that solution. By supplying the building blocks and supporting educational initiatives, the LEGO Foundation supports this amazing and creative way of learning. Six Bricks allows you to concentrate on very specific um, exercises and activities, uh, giving children a guideline so that the learning is directed in a, in a certain way. Um, so it's structured uh, activities. I think play is more important than a lot of the structured activities that we do with very young children and I think play is crucial to the development of a child. I think that all the developmental skills, perceptual, cognitive, um, motor, even social and emotional skills are developed through play and through activities that children engage in. I think the teachers are under pressure because they are teaching um, to the to the end result, meaning that they have a, the curriculum expects them to achieve a certain outcome. So teachers need to spend time understanding what each child individually is experiencing. And um, that process is where teachers need to put their effort, not at the end result. We have the option of leaving the six bricks on the child's desk, which is, which is a world's first in terms of our thinking, because we want children to have a manipulative at arm's length so that they can pick it up at any stage in any lesson and build an understanding of the concept that that lesson might be dealing with. The six bricks allows us to put children in social and emotional situations where they have to learn how to deal uh, with whatever they have to deal with. And that means that we can teach children to work better together, to work in a team, to understand how a team needs to assign roles and responsibilities if the team needs to be successful. Through these activities and because they are structured, children get to practice this and get to experience it over and over again. And through that practice and experience, that builds a resilience and teaches them about working in a group, a team, and eventually to be able to function in society. We have classrooms where we have over 60 children in the classroom and that six bricks allows us to get all 60 engaged in an activity at the same time. I think that's quite important, you know, that children aren't sitting watching. We have too many situations where the teacher is lecturing and one or two children get up to explain and the other 50 children are watching. So it's about getting every single child active at the same time. <laughs>